It is 6 a.m. 5.45. It is quite early today. Um, guys, welcome back to a brand new episode on the channel. And while I'm walking by the barn, I'm on my way to one of the biggest greenhouses, the heated greenhouse, because today we're gonna ship a 98 centimeter Shintaro Sanke. And we're gonna deliver it to one of Brian's customers in Long Island. I don't know if it's part of New York, but it's gonna be a great ride. Ohio goes to us. Oh, you just missed the epic reel. We had it. Oh, really? Oh, no worries. Look at that, guys. She is ready to being delivered at their new home. This 98, 97? Kujuhachi, 98. 98 centimeter Shintaro Sanke. So these ponds are heated guys, so the temperature inside is really good. Um, it was freezing last night actually, but they, these beautiful darlings, these beautiful fish have a very nice place to stay during the night. A warm place. Alright Brian, what's the plan for today? We have a couple service calls. I don't normally do service calls, but hey, everyone's busy cleaning ponds and building ponds, so it just leaves me left. And then we have a customer in Long Island who bought this beautiful 98 CM Sanke, so uh, we're gonna go meet him up meet up with him and uh, give him this big fish. So I'm really excited to have this koi and he's gonna show it, uh, hopefully with some shows. So another big koi delivered out of my farm. So I love that. That's why you need a big car, Thompson. Yeah, my little one doesn't keep up. All right, guys, got the 98 CM Sanke back of the car. Uh, we're just meeting the client. He lives out in the Hamptons, so it's a long day to get all the way to the Hamptons. So he said, meet us at this uh, Starbucks here right off the Long Island Expressway. And uh, I just heard her kick around in there, so she's still alive since 5.30. That's always a good sign. And we're gonna get her in her car. And this box weighs like 150 pounds. We're gonna get this into his truck. He actually just pulled up. All right, go backwards. Need bags to let me know. I have a lot of the big bags left. So awesome. I hope you got some help. <laughs> I got, I got my guys working uh, pretty close. That helped me. Awesome. Congratulations! Thank you very Beautiful much, Brian. Point. Thank you. Oh wow! That's a beautiful pond. Yeah. All right guys, uh, here's a pond that I built uh, about four years ago, before COVID. It's a 20,000 gallon pond, built out of insulated concrete forms and fiberglass. Has uh, two decks on either side. The filtration's actually below this deck that you see here. And a uh, customer gave me a call today and said, hey, you know what? I wanna keep just some of the higher end fish that I have in the pond and get rid of some of the lower quality koi. So I'm just taking a quick look today to see what he has in here, what we have to get out, but um, they all look really good and healthy. And uh, just the pond's a little bit lower because he keeps the pond down during the winter months to, I guess, keep some of the heat and the wind off the surface of the pond. But awesome setup, and I'd love to have this in my backyard. It's almost like you're at like a little resort back here, but so beautiful and uh, some great fish and some of little bumps and scrapes, but overall really good. <laughs> All right guys, so we're building a formal pond here right off this customer's patio. Um, we're just setting the first course of block down on the bottom, getting all the level straight, and once we get the first course done, everything goes really, really fast. So this customer has a beautiful backyard, pool, and now he's having an awesome koi pond. But a really unique shape fitting into this space. So we had to dig it out, real rocky soil, some giant boulders kind of uh, dictated the shape of the pond here. You couldn't break them up with a jackhammer. So, uh, the guys are just laying out the final, the first layer of block and then put some rebar in and then start building up. But it's going to be a really cool koi pond, uh, two bottom drains, 
aerated. Everything's gonna be trenched over to here. Filtration along the backside, but really cool pond and uh, we'll do some more videos along the way. But it's just a formal koi pond we're building off the patio. But, but really cool and I'm excited to see with this custom shape how it's gonna work out. All right, guys, I want to welcome you to one of our other retail locations. This is the Fitz Fish Ponds in Fairfield, New Jersey. It's been a staple uh, pond store in this actual same location for over 40 years. So when I heard that the old Fairfield Garden Center was closing, I was like, I need to jump on this and get a location here. But we got Japanese koi, pond plants, and everything you'll need for your pond. We actually carry all the parts for most of the products they sold for like the past 20 years. So if you're in the New Jersey area or you just have an old pond, you need some parts. Nick, my manager here, is great. The most knowledgeable guy on product I've ever met in the pond industry. But anyway, guys, let's go see the store. I'll give you a full tour and uh, welcome. So welcome to the Fairfield store. You know, you come on in, we have everything you could possibly need for your pond. We have all the vacuums, we have all the construction needs, we have all the Evolution Aqua stuff over here, and of course, all the fish you could possibly want. Sizes ranging from at least 33 inches, the biggest one that we have in here, we call her Regina. She is about 30, and then we got smaller guys over here. We have other fish outside, but it's a little cold today for them. Uh, all the netting, all the fake rocks, tubing, fish food as far as the eye can see, and then any pumps, any filters, any lights, we got K media over here, K plus media, all the new stuff, all the Evolution Aqua UV lights, and of course all the Bermuda and Owase products you could think of. Here you come to Fairfield, we got it all.